Well, speaking of perhaps animals, Annie, anybody with pets that stay outside, they're going to want to bring them in tonight, right? Yeah, even those pets that get a little anxious during yeah. thunderstorms, especially, just be mindful of them today as well. We do have strong to severe storms that will be firing up as we head into the afternoon and into those evening hours. Let's time this out for you, and I'm going to break down those threats right now. We're going to see that increased opportunity again later on. If we're seeing that 5 o'clock, look at that 70% chance. So our chances go way up. This morning, it's pretty quiet. We do have breezy winds, but all in all, the weather is fairly cooperating. So it's not until later on today that we see that increased opportunity for another round of strong to severe storms. Latest updates from the Storm Prediction Center. Yesterday, we were under that enhanced. We've been upgraded since this morning to a moderate risk of severe weather. That is a level four out of five for a potentially stronger storm. And what does that mean if you're new to this area? That means all modes of severe weather are on the table. We're talking tornado potential, hail, as well as damaging winds and even flooding all in the mix. Tornado outlook for today. You can see where that bullseye is and that does extend up towards uh, just south of the Kansas City area down towards Dallas. Uh, and that's going to be that 15%. You're saying 15%, that's not that's not a high chance for tornado activity. That is very high. In fact, even a 5% chance and we were talking about this is a pretty high probability. 10% is increasing. So we do have that potential significant tornado outlook. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I just am giving you the facts of what we're looking at and what the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center is looking at right now. This is extending just south of Omaha down towards Dallas. Why is this important? This does mean we could see a significant tornado and it could mean that tornado tracks could be long. So we definitely need to stay weather aware for today. Let's talk about that hail potential because that's also going to be with us. You, again, we remain under that bullseye for some large hail and this is going to be right across the Wichita, Tulsa, Oklahoma City down towards Dallas for today. This is including the hail potential upwards of softball to baseball. That is 3.5 inches, three and a half inches in size. So hail potential not looking great here across the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area where you're seeing that purple, where you're seeing the reds. That's it still indicating some very large hail. That's a golf ball to tennis ball, which in terms is two and a half inches. So you can see the threats start to lessen as they go outward, but still the whole entire state under some form of threat with tornadoes as well as hail potential. I'm going to walk you through this right now, hour by hour. Here's what we're looking at for today. Once that moisture deepens, that instability will start to be on the rise. Temperatures warming to those lower 80s. Here comes that dry line that's going to spark up some showers and thunderstorms again as that low level jet is moving across coming a little bit more linear. So we're going to watch this as we go into the afternoon and into the evening hours. Timing is still a little bit skewed on these model runs and we'll fine tune that uh, as we go throughout the day today. So of course you'll want to have multiple ways to get those updates and we can bring them to you. But look at even into the evening hours and through the overnight, lots of rain. A lot of this is looking to train over the same location. So that's going to create some concern for flash flooding. Finally, we'll get those showers and storms out of here by tomorrow afternoon. Look at this rainfall already in the last 24 hours have seen a close to about half an inch of a callister. Look at Salisaw, you're looking at two inches plus. Next 24 hours, we're looking at two to four inches with locally higher amounts. Flash flooding is going to be an issue. So we already have a flood watch that will be in effect by this afternoon for tomorrow. Our grounds are already saturated. We needed the rain, but again, Julie, too much of a good thing yeah. can be a problem. Annie, thank you.